Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Dentistry with Noor Saira. I am Dr. Noor Saira and today's topic of discussion is how to focus on various subjects and also set aside some time to revise daily while preparing for NEET MDS. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon for more such videos. To begin with the discussion of how to divide our day while studying for NEET MDS. Now, along with that, we need to remember that it's extremely important to have some time set aside every day for revision purposes. And that is one thing that will change your game while preparing for NEET MDS. That is how often and how consistently are you keeping aside some time for revision. So my idea of dividing a day uh, to focus on various subjects is that you divide your day into four parts. So how do I divide my day into four parts is that let's say you start studying from 8.30 in the morning. 8.30 to 9.30 you will set aside purely for revision basis because that's the time your mind is completely fresh and you can register your long-term memory during that time also remember that the more you revise the more it gets registered and the more you are reinforcing your long-term memory and that is more easily when you can reproduce in the exam also Revising every day saves a lot of time very close to the exam so that you don't have to invest a lot of time just before the exam and you're able to revise a lot of other subjects. So revision is the basic key and that is one thing that you have to do consistently every single day. You cannot say that I'm going to revise during the weekend or I'm going to set aside one day for complete revision. No, it's not going to work that way. You have to have a balanced approach. And so the, from the entire day, you need to set aside at least 10% to 20% of the entire day as a revision. And I will tell you, this is one thing that will actually make a huge difference. Now moving on to uh, after you have finished revising from 8.30 to 9.30 or whatever you've done in the last one week or last one month, you pick up some topic and you finish revision, you take a break for about half an hour, say from 9.30 to 10 and you sit down to begin from 10 o'clock. Now the first half of the day, that is uh, when I say the first half of the day is basically from 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock, you're going to divide your time for two basic subjects. Now your mind is the freshest in the morning and it's then, it's then when you can actually take up dry subjects and we all know that oral, um, basic subjects are very dry. So let's say the first half that is from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock you pick up the first basic subject and in that two hours the first 30 minutes is going to be pure theory. You're going to read theory about some subject that you're going to solve questions for in the next one and a half hours. Now remember this people might say that it is not so important to read the theory and it's during or very close to the exam and it's only important to solve the questions. And I'll tell you one thing that actually makes a big difference between you and somebody who gets a good rank is people do not quit reading their theory because certain subjects especially basic subjects like that of oral pathology and general anatomy need constant theory revision because they are concept based and there's so many things that you need to remember like the nerve pathway or the uh, artery divisions or uh, talking about oral pathology you need to know the pathogenesis you need to know the pathognomic features radiographic features clinical features the lab diagnosis everything is different for every disease so it's very important that you are in touch with the theory in specific with these subjects which are very difficult especially like that of oral pathology and general anatomy which are very volatile so the first 30 minutes you will set aside only and only for your theory and then the next one and a half hours that is your 90 minutes you will solve as many questions as possible from that basic subject now ideally since you have 90 minutes it will be good if you can solve 100 subject uh, 100 uh, mcqs um but doesn't mean that since uh, i have said you have to solve 100 questions you have to solve 100 questions it is just a number never compromise on the quality when trying to complete the quantity if even if you're able to do 50 questions properly trust me that will work much better than just randomly doing 
100 questions and not registering that in your mind so this is what you're going to do from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock and you take one hour about one hour break one hour break is a good break that's when you're giving your mind to refresh and this is very very important because i know certain people who sit down the whole day trust me that does not work because the Ultimately, your memory has to work and if you're not giving your brain enough time to settle down, then whatever you're reading the next next entire day is not going to register in your mind. So you take one hour break, do whatever you want. You watch TV or you want to take a small nap, you take a small nap or you go out, breathe fresh air or you play or you PlayStation or spend some time talking to someone. Whatever it is, you relax your mind and give or decloud your mind basically and then you come back one o'clock after some snack and you sit down from one to three o'clock now one to three o'clock again you pick up some other basic subject now if you have taken a, a tough basic subject in the morning like that of oral pathology i would prefer you take a, a little easier subject in the next half of the basic and from one o'clock to three o'clock again you will follow the same pattern the first 30 minutes will be theory revision and the next one hour will be pure pure mcq solving at least 50 to 75 MCQs you can solve in that one one and a half hours and uh, you will have your food and uh, you go to bed at three o'clock wake up at four o'clock uh, after a good nap a good nap is very important and it does help register your memory and uh, I know some people who after waking up directly sit down to study your mind does not work that way you have to give your mind about half an hour to 45 minutes after you sleep to come back to in a state of mind where you're able to clearly think and register uh, your information into your mind so you give about 45 to 45 minutes to one hour break after you have waken up and uh, after that you sit down say approximately from five o'clock be completely clinical preparation that is clinical subjects you're not going to touch basics here now this you can choose how you want to do if you want to keep one hour revision for clinics clinical subjects it's a very very good thing to do if you don't want to do that you can just want to concentrate on one subject of clinicals then you can start from five and the next five hours along with breaks in the middle you will give one hour to theory of clinicals and the rest four and a half hours or three hours that you're studying will be pure mcq solving and it is important that you complete your portions before october or october ends so that you have at least four weeks left for your revision so before that you read as much as theory as possible and try to complete all the portions in this way and uh, people ask me about the weightage of a subject which basic subject to give more importance well i i would want you to understand that all subjects are very important even though some subjects have a higher weightage all subjects are very important and it's very important for you to give equal importance to all so complete all your chapters in this manner that you divide your day into four parts one part for revision and the next three parts of which two parts will be for basic in the morning and then and one part in the evening completely for clinicals this way you can cover a lot of subject and also you can keep uh, your mind uh, from not getting clouded or bored by constantly studying one subject so you you are using the tactic of not uh, clouding your mind and not getting bored but also covering a lot of subjects so you can mix and match difficult and easy subjects in this way and you can go ahead and finish your portions once you cross and complete your um, portions by october end and your month of november starts and you have only two months remaining for your exams you will go ahead and leave the textbook aside and you will just solve questions and questions and read your notes and synopsis and that your revision pattern or your study pattern is going to change after that in the last two weeks or the last two months of uh, preparation for neat mds now i hope this uh, video has been very beneficial or helpful for you if you have any doubts you can post them in the comments and section i can help you out with them and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell icon every, uh, so that you're notified every time i upload a video thank you and all the best for your exams for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you